that can happen over Zoom. Usually it's myself, Sajwaj, and we work together over Zoom. And the other day, Ephraim came while I was in the meeting. A lot of times they were running around through it. But the other day, Ephraim came when I was in the meeting, and he said something, and I said no. And then he goes, that's not fair. That's what he said, that's not fair. And I just said, you know, I, you know, said it's okay, and then you know, just moved, moved on. And then Saju Lechen asked me a question, which he asked me, where did he learn about fair? Where did he get that idea? So I don't know where he got that idea. You know, he's at home most of the time, but maybe he heard it from somewhere, or maybe he just thought about this idea of fairness. I said, why? And he said, I think it's an issue that we need to think on is this question of fairness. And how much that, how, is that a question that's important for our soul? Is that a question that helps our soul? To think about the fairness of things in this fallen world? Or does it make us to be angry, upset, mad against people when we think about fairness? Here we see in this parable that Jesus is talking about where he sends the vineyards. And the people who were early in the morning, he agreed on a certain amount a denarius, it says. And then he called people at the third, at the sixth, at the ninth, even up to the eleventh hour. They worked only an hour. And it says when they all came at the end, they all got the same amount. And the people who started early were upset. Basically their question to, to God was, that's not fair. We worked all day. That's not fair. But Jesus said, this is what we agreed. This is what we, we talked about. And I think it's not so much about labor and wages, but I think it's more about our soul and focusing on the kingdom of God. And what the devil will try to do during our Lent, during our spiritual walk, is to kind of question God's fairness in whatever hardship we have in our life. Why do I have to deal with this? Why do I have to go through this? Why me? A lot of times that may come in different ways, but it comes. And the Lord is saying, trust me, I will give you the kingdom, follow me, obey me, and don't worry about everyone else, because all things belong to me. And you know, I was even challenging Sajwachan on this, I was even like, I, think it was, I had never thought about fairness being a problem for our soul. And I said, well, what if uh, we, have a piece of, we have a big piece of cake and we cut it up into even pieces and everybody gets an even piece? Isn't that fair? He goes, well, it depends. Maybe one person needs, you know, eats more than the other and they'll waste, uh, another person might waste some, you know. Maybe one person has a sugar issue and the cake can actually harm them versus someone else. So we say these words. But it's not what we think because, and this is really what we have to think about for the soul. Only God knows our soul. No one else does. And so sometimes we may think, even in the life of church, in the life of our family, everybody's not pulling the same weight, everybody's not doing the, the same amount, but all of us are on our own specific journey. Our own up, we're all a product of our own upbringing, our own families, our own hardships. And somehow we're all intersected here in this church family and in this city and in this world. And we can decide to look at one another and say, well, I've done it and you haven't and this and that. Why is this happening to me? And, and that may lead us on a path that takes us away from the kingdom and takes us away from love. Or we can let go of all of those things and just look at our relationship with the Lord and ask, what is he asking me to do? And ultimately, it's to love. And, I was, and to bear the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit. And I was thinking about the fruit of the Spirit that we read about and that many of the kids might have learned. Galatians chapter 5, 22 to 23. And it talks about the fruit of the Spirit as love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, all these things, self-control, Fairness is not on that list. Fairness is not on that list. If anything the prayers tell us is the true just judge, the only one who can judge justly, is God. 
because he is the only one who knows everyone's situation perfectly. And so as we go through this half, getting towards the halfway of the Lent, let us think on these things. Let's meditate on these things. That maybe the questions when we ask about fairness, when it applies to our soul, it may not help us, but rather it might hurt us. But rather, asking about fairness, ask about the law of love. Am I being loving? Am I growing in love for God and for others? And our glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ.